So I'm going to give a demonstration drive now. I'm going to come across a number of junctions, roundabouts, hill starts, and I'll be talking to you about what I'm doing. At the moment, it's 18 minutes past two, so we'll give it 10 minutes, and at about 28 minutes past two, we'll bring it to a stop. Okay, so let's get on with it. Getting ready to move off now, so I'll do the one, two, three rules. So one, because I have one gear stick, two, because I have two indicators, and three mirrors, and blind spot, and off I go then. I just double check the blind spot there, it looks fine there, and just double checking the mirror as I go. So. I'll be going straight at this roundabout here and the second next to go straight. Just watching out for any pedestrians, but it's all clear there. Now it's fairly busy on the right here. Just give the steer, a steering wheel a little bit of a quarter steer there. I'm in first gear. Now it looks like I might be stopped a while here, so I'll just apply the handbrake. Quite busy on the right here. Uh, it's school time, so you have to deal with that. Um, focusing on the right, but I'm also aware of over here just in case anyone's doing anything. Now there's a bit of a gap there. Reasonable gap. Off I go. One last look. Staying a little bit left to centre, mirrors indicating left in as I get halfway through the run, but and I'm watching out for any pedestrians here. Now there's nobody here, but you never know. Sometimes uh, pedestrians can walk across out of nowhere sometimes. So I'll take a left here now, so mirrors indicate left. Slowing down gradually, um, not late and sudden, just gradually in I go then. Proper steering, no crossing the hands. Just straightening up here now. It's a bit of a bit of a bend here, so I don't want to go too fast here. And the road curves off to the right up here, as you can see by the yield sign up there. Anyway, I'll be going straight at this crossroads here. It's a bit of a tricky one here as it's on a bit of a hill. So just check my mirrors there before I slow down. And I bring the car to a nice gentle stop uh, just at the line there. Definite hill. So I apply the handbrake, went to first gear, getting a good bite there, and I'm gonna just creep out using gentle clutch control. Now it looks clear on the right and the left. Just gonna creep a little further and looks fine. Last look. It's all fine there, heading straight. So as I approach this hill here, I can see there's a uh, reasonably clear, there's a van coming towards me, but there's a couple of parked cars on the left there, but they're well enough off the road, so it shouldn't be a problem. So getting up the third there. Now there's a light blue car here parked. I'm gonna be aware of him, a pedestrian coming, but, so I might just give a little flick of the indicator here, mirrors a little flick of the indicator. Not for too long now, I don't want people to think I'm turning right there. I'm just gonna glance the mirrors are coming back in. It's all fine and heading up then towards this roundabout. So it's a uh, flashing light up here, so I have to watch out for pedestrians, particularly as it's uh, school time as well. But it doesn't look too bad here. So a third exit to the right. Mers indicate right, just slowing down on the bend here, getting the second gear. So there's two exits here on my right, so I have to be careful here now. I might just go to first gear, because this is a bit of a tricky one here, but it's all clear by the looks. Last look, staying kind of inside, but not near the white center circle. Now, Mers indicate left to leave. And just keeping it slow here because uh, these pedestrian crossings are very close to the roundabout. So by taking it slow, de-accelerating there, it just gives me more time to prepare for the pedestrian crossings. So coming down along here then, it's a bit of a steady hill here. So definitely don't want to be coasting down here. Coasting is uh, having the clutch pressed in fully or driving in neutral. Another school sign there, a man walking a couple of dogs, but we're all okay for now. And just kind of ready on the brake here as well. And I'm just driving a little bit slower than I normally would because of the steep downhill and also because of the, the heavy rain. A little bit of a cushion ramp there. A cushion ramp because it's not the full length of the road, it just kind of covers the centre part of the lane. Another cushion ramp here, so just glance the mirrors there to slow down. Looks fine. Now with this roundabout I'll be going straight. And this roundabout is actually a stop sign as well as a mini roundabout because it's remarkably blind on the right there. So I'm going to just stop at the stop line there first. Complete stop is done. Now I'm just going to lean forward and creep out there. So we're all looking okay there. And just creeping out. Oh, there's a car that comes there now. So I'm going to give him right away there because uh, he has rights. That's why we creep out there and we don't just barge out. So I'm just going to let the car roll a bit further now. Looks fine. Okay. I was going to indicate left as I leave around but there then. That was quite a blind roundabout. There's actually been a few accidents there in previous years. That's why the roundabout has evolved into a stop sign. So I just stopped there and crept out carefully. That's the thing to do. Slow sign here, another bit of a hill here, so I'm just gonna cover the brake. Maybe not press the brake, but I'm just ready on the brake in case I need it. And just slowly coming down along here. Just keeping her slow, I'm about approximately 31, 32 kilometers an hour here. And nothing major, just with the school here, there's a pedestrian there, but I was able to see her and react to her in case she crossed. One way street, so staying fairly central. Pedestrian there is avoiding the bin, so I'm just gonna make sure she doesn't come too near the road, everything's fine. 
and I'm going to keep left here at the two-way option here. So I'm going to take a left at the next junction, mirrors, indicate left, and stop and then try my best to keep a door length there. I think I have that there now. Re reapply the indicator. Handbrake because it looks like I'm going to be stopped a while. And I'll wait in first gear. So I'm about a door length from the cars on the left, which is good. Now I'm just going to check my mirrors are moving off. All good, no cyclists, no pedestrians. And as I stop behind this silver car here, <coughs> I want to make sure I can see his bottom tires and a bit of the ground, which I can there now. Okay, so I'm going to stop momentarily, so no need for the handbrake there. Now I'm going to try and keep left as much as I reasonably can here, while also being aware of the parked cars. And even though I'm not first in line, I'm still aware of the junction, so I'm looking for cars coming there and the pedestrians up ahead, which you'll see, the pedestrian crossing, sorry, up ahead, which you'll see soon. So always being alert and being aware. So he's just creeping up. I'm going to creep up a little bit there now, but I'm not going to creep up that much. There's no point really. He's not really moving anywhere yet. So no point in creeping up right behind him. Always good to keep a safe distance. Now he's made his move. So let's glance the mirrors. I'm going to creep out. Now it's a solid white line, so I have to stop completely. There's my complete stop. Now a bit of a hill, so the handbrake. Now he's going to lean forward and creep out. There's a car coming there now. So it's going to let him go. He's on the main road, of course. So just creeping out again there then. Looks clear, yeah, bit of a gap, off I go. Now the light's still green, so that's fine. No pedestrians there. And I'm gonna go straight along here. Now there's gonna be a few very, very narrow and tight streets up along here. So things could get interesting, but that's all part of the fun, really. Now, a couple of cars here. Um, so just keep an eye on them. I'm well over a door, length, approximately a door length, I mean there, so I'll find. Just glance the mirrors are coming back in. And keeping left of center while at the same time trying to navigate the many, many potholes that are around Wexford. So, being aware of pedestrians there. Being such a miserable day, you're gonna have pedestrians that may rush across the road. Just slow on the first car there. Now, okay, so she's made a move. Now, I'm not gonna beckon her across though. She's gonna make her own decision to go there. So she's fine, I'll let her across. But note, I didn't beckon her across the road or anything like that. I just know she put her foot on the, on the road, so that gives her the right of way. But I wanted to let her make her own decision to cross there. I don't recommend beckoning pedestrians out onto the road at all. So anyway, still um, still very wet, so as I was saying to you before, pedestrians can be a little bit unpredictable and they can rush across in bad weather like this, so it's always good to be extra aware of that. Um, okay, so the light is red up there, um, Pelican crossing up ahead. There's also a yellow box there which the car in front is avoiding and I, I will obviously try my best to avoid that as well. Moving off now, so mirrors as I move off. Watching out here, I'm just gonna make sure, yeah, I can clear that yellow box now, so. Light's still green, off I go. Just taking it easy over the ramp. Okay, and I proceeding now, so I won't bother going to third. He's already turned right there, so there's not much point in going, speeding up and going to third. Just let him in. Now I can give it a little bit of juice, and up I go to third. Now just moving out gradually around these cars here. Kind of a nice gradual line. There's no point in swerving out at the last minute. Now I'm gonna take a right, so mirrors indicate right. Now the second gear now, just gonna bring her in a little bit there, watching for the car as well, straightening up a small bit. Get the wheel straight then, indicator back on. Handbrake first gear, and I'll just glance the mirrors there, all clear. Watching out for any oncoming cars here now. So, any oncoming, no, it's all fine, it's the last up to be short. And moving out gradually now around these cars as well, doing my best to leave about a door length. And staying out, no point in weaving in and out there, now staying out like I am now. Okay. I know there's plenty of cars, pedestrian in red there crossing the road. Now we're going to have a very, very tight crossroads here. So mirrors in the K to the left, I'm going to take my left. There's a red car peeping out there. And a gentleman crossing up. So I'm just going to go into first gear here because it's a little bit tricky. I'm going to come out a little bit to the right to give me a better angle. Just leaning, looking. I kind of have the right away, but I want to be just short. Get the full lock there, try to keep tight. Straighten up then. And there we go, very, very tight crossroads there. I just came out a little bit to the right to give me a better angle to turn in. Believe it or not, this is a two-way street. Um, so I have to be fairly left here just in case any traffic's coming up. Totally blinded by this wall here now, so I want to be on my brake. And just for safety, I'm going to slow down into first gear. Just lean out there. See, everything's fine, yeah? It's just you never know, you'd have people flying up there out of nowhere. Remember, if I can't see them, they can't see me either. So, proceeding along here, pedestrian crossing sign, yield sign, can't turn right here, so I have to go straight. Just checking the mirrors. I'm gonna be heading straight here now. So the lane opens up into two lanes here. If in doubt, all good and right anyway. If in doubt, always start in the right lane. Sorry, always start in the left lane, I meant to say. So if the, if the lane opens up in two, always start in the left lane. My apologies. 
pedestrian crossing here now, so uh, nobody crossing, so it's all fine. And over I go then, keeping my eye traffic here now, and following the road up along here. A bit of a bend up here then, so I keep reasonably left. Just down the second gear because it's a bit of a tricky bend. Now, so we have a final roundabout coming up here then, so I'm going to go left at the roundabout. So MERS, indicate left, and gradually slowing down. There's a young lad there on the path, looks like he's standing very still, must be doing the mannequin challenge or something there, but he's staying very still anyway. So, anyway, all good there, nothing on the right, all clear then. Okay, so I'm going to proceed up this hill here now then, and I'm going to park on the left, so MERS, indicate left. Okay, and because I'm parking on uphill, I'm just going to drop her into first gear. Just get her in there nice and close, watching the fan there. Just bring her a little bit of left, and I'm going to do a little bit of right to straighten up, and then straight wheel at the end. I'm going to try handbrake and neutral to secure the car. And that's 10 minutes now, so it's just 29 minutes past two. So that was just a 10 minute demonstration drive where I covered a number of things there from traffic lights to roundabouts to tight junctions. So I hope this helps you get a greater understanding of what a commentary drive is all about.